79 years after it opened, today may very well be the finish line for Suffolk Downs. It is the racing oval that once hosted a legendary race, the racehorse Seabiscuit, and where the Beatles made their one of their two Boston appearances. But unless a last-ditch effort can save it, Suffolk Downs hosted its final races today. Christina Hager reports on the sad farewell to a Boston landmark. And they're off. The last miles run, last bets placed, last cross past the finish. It's a piece of history. We can say we were here the day it closed. Suffolk Downs' final racing day began with a contest named after the winner of the track's inaugural run in 1935, Eddie Rack a horse Richard Phelan's parents owned. It's a terrible situation. We, the people are going to miss it. A couple weeks ago, when the Mass Gaming Commission awarded the area's casino license to win resorts, hundreds of employees here were put on notice. Time to sit down and do some serious thinking and decide where am I going to take myself and my family. Something about this mix of sheer adrenaline and the sadness of knowing this is it. It's something some people here just aren't ready to give up on. What makes me hopeful because of racing in New England, they won't let they won't let it die. A group of horsemen is making a bid to save it, but Chief Operating Officer Chip Tuttle is not optimistic. It's hard to imagine how they would how they would make the economics work. They're just very very daunting right now. They're off in the third running of the mass cap. So a chapter in New England history closes leaving the track to the future now a shaky bet. In East Boston, Christina Hager, WBZ News.